this is Simeon Hendricks with SimeonHendricks.com, back with another movie. Today we're going to be installing, upgrading RAM in Haley's HP Pavilion laptop. So we're very excited about this. Not a lot of tools required, things that you're going to need. Your laptop, you're going to need your new memory, RAM, RAM sticks, and a screwdriver. Okay, so it wasn't very long ago, just a few years ago, a couple of years ago, that we weren't able to upgrade RAM inside of a laptop. Um, in, the, in the olden days, we would have to send the laptop off to the manufacturer or it just was not possible to upgrade RAM. So, thank goodness we're in 2011 now and we can do cool things like this. So you say, why do you want to upgrade the RAM anyway? Okay, RAM. Your hard drive stores the program, okay? So you have all your programs stored on there, you have all your files stored on that. When you're actually using the program, when you're using your files, when you're working in uh, Microsoft Word or you're working in Photoshop and you haven't saved it yet, all of that information is on your RAM, okay? So you can see how extremely important your RAM, which is random access memory, how important that is. So the more you can get, the faster your computer can go. All right. Currently, Haley has one gigabyte of RAM on her laptop. Today, we're going to be upgrading it to two gigabytes. You'd be asking, well, how do I know how much RAM I have? How do I know how much RAM my laptop or my PC can accept? Good question. There's a great company out right now. It's called Crucial Technology. You just go on to crucial.com. You run this little program they have, very easy, off of their website. And what it's going to do, it's going to check your computer. It's going to tell you exactly how much RAM you currently have on your system and what the maximum is that you can upgrade to. That's what we did. We got the RAM sticks from them, came in the mail. We're ready to go. So let's start getting down to it. All right, so what we're going to do, we got a laptop. We're going to flip it over. You can see there's several compartments here. Okay, first thing we're going to do, obviously you can already tell I unplugged it from the wall. So there's no wires. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to remove the battery. Just a precaution right there. So we're going to pop this out. We're going to remove the battery. Okay, so we got the battery removed. Next thing we're going to do, um, we're going to find the compartment that is this housing the RAM. You can look, uh, I don't know how it might be on your laptop, but on Haley's which is HP Pavilion, it's got these little icons right next to it. And you can see on this one, it has a little icon right there, which is very similar to a RAM, uh, a stick of memory. So that's telling us we need to get in. So we're just going to come in here with our little screwdriver, and we're going to unscrew uh, these little baby, baby screws. We got the plate off. We're going to set that over there. Now, um, well, you can see right here and right here, there's two clips, metal clips. First of all, when you're working on a computer, there's one extreme kryptonite to the computer. Electric shock, static electricity, shocking your components can destroy your computer. So how do you avoid that? You can wear an anti-shock wrist band, or when you're working on it, you want to make sure that you're always Ground yourself before you start working inside of the computer by touching something metal. Now when we took the battery out, there's a piece on this laptop, there's a piece of metal right here. So by me touching that, that grounds so, me. I just need to point that out because we're about to get down into it. Okay guys, I've touched that, all the electric is out of my body. Now right here, there's two clips on each one of these. And these two green things that we're looking at are the current RAM sticks that Haley has in hers. They're actually, the technical term for those is so damn, which is small outline, dual inline memory module for those of you geeks out there. Okay, so what I did, I took those metal parts, those clips, and I pulled them apart. That's going to pop it open. There's one RAM stick. I'm going to do the same very carefully, reaching in here. And I'm going to do the same for the second. So there we got it, one and two. As I said, she has one gigabyte of RAM in here right now. Each one of these sticks are 512 megabytes. 
which equal to approximately one gigabyte. We're going to replace those. So here we go. We're going to pop the first one out. One thing you're going to notice, there's a small groove right here. That groove fits the groove on the stick, fits into the groove on the slot. So you can't put it in incorrectly because there's no groove that way. Okay, there was the existing. We're going to take out the second. Just like that. Okay. Now, these are the um, new RAM sticks that we ordered from Crucial. Crucial.com, Crucial Technologies, like we were talking about. And this big plastic box that it comes in is anti-static. Okay, it's very important until you're actually ready to install this into your computer, leave these in these plastic um, boxes like this or sometimes they're going to come in a, in a bag, an anti-static bag. Okay, so we're opening it up. Alright, there we go. You got the first one. And just periodically throughout, throughout this demonstration you're going to notice I'm just going to keep touching this metal thing. What I'm going to do, that's just to double check, triple check, to make sure that I don't have any electric current. Okay? Alright, so we're just going to pop these on. Each one of these new sticks are one gigabyte. So, this one stick is equal to both of those old ones. Okay? So now we're going to line this up. actually going to go this way on this one. Put it in like this. Get it lined up very nice. Should we got it good. You want to make sure it's seated very well. Push it in tightly. And then push it down. And that snaps. Okay, so you want to seat it as in pushing it in tightly into the socket, push it in tightly and then push it down and the metal clips are going to close around it. Same thing with this one. I'm going to take it out of the anti-static container. I'm going to touch the metal again. I see I have a notch right here on the stick. I have a notch on the socket. I'm going to push that into place. Make sure it's seated very well. It's in tight. And I'm going to push it down with a little bit of force. And you hear a click. Okay, guys, um, that's really all there is to it. Say, well, how do I know uh, if it's installed? Is there any other steps we need to do? 2011, we're technology based. Inside of the RAM itself, on the memory module, on the stick, there's a chip. It's called the Serial Presence Detect chip. And what that chip is going to do when you boot up your computer, your computer is going to go talk to the RAM and that chip will tell your computer, your CPU, how much information it can hold, the speed of the RAM stick, etc. So is there any other steps that you have to do? No. Okay. One troubleshooting issue, if you load up your computer and you're getting a blue screen or you're getting uh, issues, error messages, okay, there's a couple of things you need to do. Open it back up, make sure that you securely seated the RAM module into the socket. That could pretty much be the, the most often um, error, okay? So you need to make sure it's seated correctly. If after you made sure that you've installed it correctly, 100%, if you're still having the issues, you got a bad memory stick. So what you need to do to test which one is bad, take one of the good ones and one by one take out one of these, put in a, one that you know is good, okay? and uh, just go back and forth until the error goes away. Then you know either A or B is messed up, it's not working, and then the one that is messed up, send it back to Crucial, they're gonna refund you or wherever you got it from. So that's it guys. Um, I know Haley's gonna be excited cruising the internet, doing Photoshop work at a very fast um, pace. Thank you guys for tuning in. Simeon Hendrix with SimeonHendrix.com where we just learned how to install upgrade RAM on your laptop. Thank you.